Hi, I'm Sam King. What up? I'm Erica David. What's good? This is Amir. Hello, I'm Deep Pride, and you're watching Channel APA. Channel APA. Channel APA. Welcome to Channel APA. You are now tuning in. I'm super honored. Um, I feel like it's a huge ordeal that this team has to put together and just auditioning the logistics. And I was telling uh, my friend today that all of the most of the work really is done by the crew. We just show up and we do our thing, you know. But um, so really, congratulations and lots of love to you guys. I am so honored to be part of the first collaboration, Boston. Um, I've, I've done a lot of collaboration stuff back in uh, California, and just having it out here in the East Coast in Boston is just shows you how, how much support there is for the Asian American community. It's such an honor to be here and to be invited alongside with Deep Pride and Amir and myself. Um, super excited. I heard cl collaboration is a big thing all over around the states, I think. Um, but. Uh, Club Boston hit it hard. I'd be getting tweets all over the place saying they're so excited. They're hyping up Club Boston. So I'm really excited to be here. Can't wait to record. It feels amazing. Uh, it's, a, it's a whole new market for us to uh, tap into. And there's a lot of young people here, a lot of up-and-coming artists and performers, beatboxers, musicians, dancers, step teams, everything. So it's, it's an honor for us to be a, a part of this. And we're also excited that we have a chance to perform tonight as well, too. So it's a good opportunity for us. Definitely, and we're definitely honored because, uh, as you can see, we're not Asian or Pacific Islander, so it's it's uh, you know it's an honor to, for them to consider an R&B act to come in and be the, the the main performer for the evening. Like, you know, it just says a lot, you know, about where we've come from, what we've accomplished, and the fact that we transcend racial racial lines and racial boundaries. I mean, it's awesome. When I heard, like, I, I've been hearing about collaboration a lot um, in other cities and even in Toronto. And I, I actually wanted to be part of it the first time, but I never knew how to sign up. But I heard it was, like, really big. So I'm, I'm like, proud now that I actually made it enough to, to be here up in Boston. It, even in Boston, not even in Toronto. Just to be repping it out here, it's, it's, it just feels amazing. It's awesome. Um, really, really important. I think one of the things I love doing most is to talk with people who are interested in becoming a part of uh, the music community or uh, any kind of arts, writing, uh, painting, anything. Um, and just to get a community of support is so important. And I don't think it's necessarily uh, a good thing to just limit yourself to the API community. It's just another door. But um, once you get started there to gain support, it's just wonderful to keep your art moving forward. You know, I mean, the, the whole idea of collaboration is that it's inspiring people to collaborate and to, to get together and make music together. And that's what we need in the Asian American community. We need that support. And so just being a part of that, I think there was that bigger message of just, just being a part of that. It was just, I think, uh, and then the, the effect is going to be tremendous, right? And it's already showing on YouTube. Yeah. Well, uh, for us, it's, it's, an, it's an awesome experience for us seeing that we've, we've performed on stage with uh, Erica David before and also with Deep Pride. So we believe in supporting each other first, you know, because the whole YouTube community, they love to see the collaborations. So we come up, we bring other people up, we share subscribers and that whole thing as well. And for the young people that are here, it's good for them to see that you can't make it on your own. You know, you got you to get out there and network with people that are in your same industry and build each other up so that you all can make it together. First out, let me say, it's super fun to do collaborations. Um, collabing with, you know, such as Deep Pride and Amir, I've actually done collaborations with them. Um, it brings a whole different community, and it brings a, a bigger fan base, and it brings everybody together, which makes it all fun and everything. And I mean, like, it's good looking at other talent. Um, I mean, not being, like, not being at, like, a high point or being cocky or anything, but a lot of people on the come up. I, I like seeing a lot of people on the come up just, you know, showcase their stuff and try to get to the top. It's, like, great because it reminds me of myself, like, back then when I do these shows. And, like, completely, like, nobody in the audience knew my name. And it's just awesome seeing a lot of artists being able to grind and, like, get their name out. And just, like, seeing the grind and, like, you know, it just, it, it, it kind of inspires me as well. Because, you know, everybody's on their own out, out, out in these streets, in these cold streets. Everybody's out on their own trying to grind. So it's, it's great just to see everybody on that. Um, don't forget to have fun. 
it's easy to get honed in on all the impo like important emails and business stuff to forget. You make an art, so have fun. You know, uh, just be open to everything. You know, always want to perform. Performers, their job should just be to always perform. And so, get out there, perform, be open to everything, and good things will happen. Uh, have thick skin. Uh, understand that the industry is brutal. Uh, that you're gonna get a lot of no's. Uh, just keep pushing forward. Uh, rely on your preparation. Um, for that is to say, always be prepared uh, for opportunities when they come. And opportunity of a lifetime must be seized in the lifetime of the opportunity. Stay confident, but also stay humble to the point where you're not like crazy cocky. At times, a lot of people judge me for being cocky and stuff like that. But in the end, I'm just really confident in myself, and I'm really humble enough to tell you guys just to, you know, stay focused. Be humble, but also be confident in what you do. Never, never, never set yourself at a low standard. Good luck to all the performers that are today at the talent show. Um, congratulations to whoever wins. Uh, super exciting, and I can't wait till it pops off. Right. So I just released my album in January, and so this year all I'm doing is gigging, 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 touring, touring, and. Um, I'm trying a little something new this year where I'm trying a little bit of an acting thing on the side. Um, we'll see what happens. <laughs> but um, I'm hoping to get to Europe this fall and um, just try to support as many of my friends as possible doing collaborations. Um, yeah, just having a lot of fun. I've actually been in Boston for about three months from February till the end of April, uh, which I'll be going back to California. And from there, we're trying to create a... Um, Inspired from collaboration, a collaborative album featuring YouTube uh, stars working together to create like a fluid working project. So, look out for that. I guess uh, next uh, early January, next next January, next year. Yes, yes. I'm finally putting out a mixtape, and I'm putting original music out. Album is coming out later on as well, as well as a music video for uh, my single "Let Me Go," which was produced by Mike Colombo. Uh, I have a couple shows in line. I have one tomorrow, New York the mixtape comedy show. I have a show um, in Vegas where I actually reside in now. Um, School of Hard Rock, so check that out. Keep posted. There's some things that, that we want to say that we can't say. We haven't been released uh, by the label to say certain things, but keep it locked on our channel. We give all the updates there. We have some hotness coming your way. Some hotness coming your way. So keep it locked. Submit, baby. Mars Mixtape coming out soon in the uh, like probably the beginning of the summer i got a mixtape coming out m-a-r-s mars um all original by me i got a lot of up-and-coming producers like you said like i got a lot of upcoming cats on there so it's great to see them grind out for the production and uh yeah that's about it i got the mars mixtape coming out i got an album coming out like right after that i got a lot of shows coming out in a lot of cities so people can pay attention that'd be great and uh yeah that's about it